Welcome back to our GORM IDE series, and in this episode, we're going to install phpMyAdmin. I'm going to sign into my GORM IDE account, and here's my dashboard, and here's my container. And one thing I just want to point out before we even get started, I'll open this up. This is the help section, and I also copied some of this, but I'm going to go to the help section, and I'm going to go down to the FAQs, language and environment, and I'm going to open up the part about phpMyAdmin, how to install phpMyAdmin. And that's this stuff here. So I'm going to keep that open, and I'll go back here, and I'm going to start my container. I'll run my container. And my container's open. And it's saying still loading here. If you ever see that, sometimes if you refresh, it'll, it'll show your container. And there it is. And there's my index.php, which is just a default startup page. And my startup text, which I created and put in there, and there it is, it's open right now. So what I'll do to get started here, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do the PHP my admin install. But before I do that, I'm going to start my SQL. So I'll take that and copy it, and I'll put it here in my prompt, and I'll paste it, and I'll get that started just to make sure that's running. And it says done. If it says fail, then you might want to do it again. And then I'm also going to restart my server, my web server here. You might not have to, but I'm just going to do that because I usually get in the habit of doing both those things. Then I'm going to take this install for PHP my admin, this whole thing. Now it does have some updates in here, which the first time I did it, it didn't have these. And I had to install additional updates for MB string and my SQLi. So hopefully this will work fine. So this is the first time I'm trying it with this whole new line that they have here. So I'm going to paste this here and hit enter. And when it gets to this point, when it says Apache 2 and light TPD, you're going to choose the number one for Apache 2. So just put in a one and hit enter. And this will take a while. So that part is done. Now it's asking you another question here. Configure database for PHP my admin. Just put yes here. So lowercase yes, and then just hit enter. And then it says my SQL application password. Now it'll make a random one if you don't do anything, but I'd recommend just for now, since you're probably in education or you're just learning some things, just put in root, lowercase r o o t, and it won't show it, it'll be hidden. And that's why it'll confirm it again. So lowercase r o o t. And that's it. So I think we have it installed. So to see that it's working, we're going to go to project running URL and port, and we're just going to open up. Remember, we made this URL last time, and I made one for Home Studio, and I'm just going to open it up in a new tab, and there it is. Now, we're not going to go into here. What you're going to do is just go here at the end of the URL and put a slash, and just put PHP my admin. And if you're not sure where to do this, it's actually under the how to install. They show here project URL slash PHP my admin. And they also tell you you can log in by entering PHP my admin. Now, they don't know if you're using root or not. So we're using root, but that's the way you'd log in. So that's what we're going to do. So after you type that in, you should be able to just hit enter. Now, remember, don't go into here. Just put it right on the end of your main URL and hit enter. And it says not found right now. One thing we might have to do is restart our server since we just did the install. Now, I didn't. I didn't do that yet, so I'm going to cancel this. Let's just restart our Apache server, see if that works. I'm going to copy that and paste this here. And we'll go back here and we'll see if this works. And it does. So we just had to restart our server, so it's good that happened, so now we know. And we're going to put in PHP my admin because that's the default. And there it's coming up. And then we're going to put in root as our password and hit go. And there it is. So now we're into PHP my admin. Now, they're only showing two things over here, PHP my min and information schema. Now, we want to see five. Now, I'll show you what to do right now before we finish up the video to do that. I'm going to go into databases here, and just to show you that we can't create a database. We're getting no privileges. So we need to have some more things happening here in order to make a database. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to log out here. This little thing is log out. And you may not know where to do this, and I have some notes for you, so I'll show you where to do this. I just have it in a text file right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the MySQL prompt, and I'm going to do something called grant all privileges so that we have privileges in here to be able to do everything to make databases. So right now we have limited privileges. I'll put this in the description for the video so you can do this. 
and I'll just copy this right now, and it is going to be in the MySQL prompt. So keep in mind, when we go down here, we actually want to go into MySQL. So make sure you type MySQL to go into the console, and now we're in MySQL, and this is where we're going to paste this. So I'm going to paste this here, and again, it's after the MySQL prompt. It says grant all privileges on asterisk dot asterisk, and this should give us more options in PHP My Admin to create databases. So I'm just going to hit enter. And it says OK, so that should be good. Just like when we do queries, it says query OK. That means it worked. So we're going to go here and we're just going to log in again. And I'll hit go. And I'm just going to refresh this. And I'll put in root and I'll hit go. And now it's OK. And now you should see five items over here. You should now see MySQL. SYS and performance schema. So this is what you need. And if you go into databases, now we'll be able to create a database. And I'll go through everything with databases later, but this is the first part of this. So this is what I wanted to have you do first. So now we can connect to databases when we create them. So I'll just go back here. Now remember what we did just to review, we we already did these things in the past. So we already had the MySQL server installed. All we did was start MySQL and then we did an Apache restart, and then we did this PHP My Admin install, and I could go through all the things here, but we just did yes for the DB config, we used Apache 2, we used root for password, and I think that's all we needed in here. And then eventually, once we got in there, we went here to our main URL slash PHP My Admin, and you can see now it has a longer URL now, but that's where we initially go. So once that's working, you should be okay, and the one extra thing I put in here was the one line down here, grant all privileges, which I'll put in my description for the video so you have that, or I could even put a link to a text file, but we're in, so we're connecting to PHP My Admin. So by doing that, we'll be able to create databases, we'll be able to manage databases, we'll be able to even install WordPress if we need to, which I'll have a video for that as well. But I'll show you some more things with PHP My Admin in upcoming videos. And what I'll do now to get out of my SQL console, I always recommend getting out of here. So when you're in that console there, just hit quit, or just type in quit and hit enter. And now we're out of my SQL, we're still in our terminal. And I'll just close up this file, and I'll close my container. And you could close this up too. This is just opening another tab. You can log out of it as well. And because the server is no longer running, you're going to get this message. So don't be, don't be worried if you see that. You just close this up. So now we'll go back. There's our container. Our container is no longer running. The next time we go in here, we could run it. We could connect to PHP My Admin as long as we start our MySQL server and our web server. So we'll see you with more PHP My Admin videos coming up.